Hi y'all, this is Kathleen Phillips in my kitchen with grits and gouda. That is Southern shortcut recipes with a pinch of gourmet. Today we're going to make uh, candied roasted sweet potatoes. So that means we're going to roast them first and then you come back and candy them. Y'all, they're so good. The roasting in the oven kind of caramelizes the sugar before you even candy it. So what we're gonna need is five to six small to medium sweet potatoes. This guy's a little big, but it's gonna work. Half a cup of corn syrup, one and a half cups of sugar, a half a cup of butter, y'all. This is not a diet recipe. It is perfect for the holidays. And then if you wanna gild the lily, this is optional, but two cups of mini marshmallows to put at the end. Again, that's totally optional. So right now, I'm going to put them in the oven, 375 degrees, 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how big they are. You can also roast these sweet potatoes in your air fryer, 375 to 380 degrees for about 35 minutes. You just want a fork or a knife to go in when, and it goes all the way in easily. So I'm gonna roast them and be right back. Okay, we're back and the sweet potatoes has roasted in the oven and they're cool. So they're cooled down right now, but I wanted to say how I roasted these, I literally put them on a foil lined pan, washed. You do not have to cover them foil. You don't need to prick them. That is really not necessary. Actually, if you prick them, the sugars in the sweet potatoes will bubble over, so no need. Literally wash them, throw them in the oven, and so they're cooled down. Uh, right now we're going to, let's see, I'll take this one. You want to take their jackets off because um, we're going to candy them without the skins. Now, we're going to cut them in half, and they easily peel off like that. All right, now that guy took a little bit longer to cook in the oven, but these took about 45 minutes at 375. So see, we're just going to easily peel these off and put them in a 13 by baking sheet. I'm, she, I'm going to finish these up and then we'll start to candy them. All right, y'all, I have taken all the jackets off of the sweet potatoes, y'all. Look at the caramelization on the roasted sweet potatoes. I like to roast them way better than boil them. And I know that's common for candied sweet potatoes, but when you roast them, all of those sugars get caramelized. And when you boil the sweet potatoes, it actually absorbs water and then kind of leaks out when in the oven. So look how easy. The reason I like to use a foil lined pan, done, clean. So one of the things I do about shortcuts is to show you how to wash fewer dishes. So now I'm going to microwave the butter. I use the microwave a lot because it is a shortcut. So you can also melt your butter in a pan on the stovetop. So I'm going to put this down I cut it into four pieces because that helps the butter not, if you've ever melted butter in the microwave and it went poof, if you'll cut it into smaller pieces, it won't do that. There's a science behind it. Now, I also use the top of my butter. Now, I have a microwave right here. We live in a handicap accessible home, and so our microwave is right here. It's also perfect for food videos. So I'm going to microwave it. 35 seconds, we'll come back here. Now we're about to sprinkle, hold on, we're about to sprinkle a cup and a half of sugar. Yes, I know it's a lot of sugar, but y'all, this makes it so good. And remember, we're candying sweet potatoes, so it takes sugar. So we're going to put the corn syrup right on top of the sugar. You do not have to stir this. Y'all, that's another shortcut, right? Let's count how many shortcuts are in this recipe. 
So also I wanted to say I first got this recipe from a sweet lady at our church who made the candied sweet potatoes and I always tried to get them at our church potlucks. And she shared her recipe with me and that is where this came from. And then I added my own touch to roast them instead of boil them. So thank you. Uh, let's get our butter because that is next. All right, let's see. This kept it from splattering. Ta-da, 35 seconds, done. Again, all we're gonna do is drizzle. So you can drizzle or brush. I think the original recipe was to dot butter, to cut up butter and to dot it on there. Melting is so much easier to me, so that's what I did. All right, so it goes back in the oven. It's already at 375 degrees, 40 to 45 minutes until it is bubbly. Look, it's that easy, so I'm gonna put it in the oven. Y'all, look at those bubbles. It is candied. These sweet potatoes are candied, y'all. Now, I have my silicone um, trivets right there just to be safe. Y'all, it is so good. Now, these are, remember, roasted candy sweet potatoes. Roast them first, then we're candying them. Um, that sugar gets so hot. Think about a candy that... Um, gets up to like, you know, 300 degrees. That's what's happening in the oven. So these, yes, they're sweet, but they are so delicious. So let's grab one of these. I will get this one on the end. Yes, they're hot. So we may have to let them cool a bit. As they cool, they do firm up a tiny bit. Look at that. Y'all. These are perfect for the holidays, whether it be Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas, or, you know, sweet potatoes are harvested in September. That's a great time, too. Um, that is so delicious. Now, if you want to gild the lily, I had some marshmallows right here. At this time, you can sprinkle two cups of marshmallows, put them back in the broiler, and just put it under there for a minute, and it'll be nice and toasty. I know it's a controversial. Some people love them, some people don't, um, but I like them just like this. And at Grits and Gouda, I make shortcut recipes. I take classic or traditional Southern recipes, put my own twist like I roasted these, and I show you how to make things faster. So um, for more shortcut rest Southern recipes, follow me on gritsandgouda.com. Don't forget to subscribe. And so here are those marshmallows. If you want to sprinkle those on and broil them for a minute, or if you're like me, I just like to eat it this way. I had to let it cool down just a minute, but y'all, I wish you could see inside the texture. It is so much better than those cans of candy jams. Mmm, y'all, it is like candy. It is like sweet potato candy. So, so don't forget to subscribe. For more Southern Shortcut recipes, head on over to gritsandbeauty.com.